case, we want to make sure that this doesn't get tangled inside your sewing machine. This can cause damage that will require repair from an authorized repair person for your sewing machine. In this case, this can be properly and easily uh, remedied if you just make sure to check everything when we threaded your machine initially and then make sure that your bobbin is threaded correctly into the little groove or the cutout inside the window right down here. If it's threaded correctly and you can check your threads by pulling and everything moves correctly, you should be able to stitch. Let's try this again and see if we can get a better stitch on this piece of fabric. So I'm looking at my machine just to make sure that I have everything correct in order. When I look at the top of the machine, I am going to check just to make sure that nothing has been changed or bumped or out of control. My tension is at four, my needle position is in the center, and my width is at zero. My spool cap is engaged on the spool pin, my thread is there, and it looks as if I threaded the machine correctly. My bobbin is in place because I just checked that. So let's give it a try and see if it will sew. And when I take this off and let's take a peek, my stitch line is really clean and very straight and it doesn't look like the thread is grabbing or pulling on the surface of the fabric, even though the fabric is a little bit wrinkly from the problems with the tension earlier. When I look at the back, the stitching is pretty much the same. It's evenly distributed across the fabric and it looks good. So we took care of our bird's nest issue.